where are you supposed to store your chemicals for the winter season? Well, there's a couple of different things that you need to know about storing chemicals. Uh, the first thing that you need to know is that if you have liquid chlorine, if that's the product that you prefer to use, it doesn't really do well in long-term storage. And by that, I mean it will lose its strength or its capacity to sanitize your water. Uh, things like direct sunlight are a problem for it, as well as extended periods of time sitting outside or um, just, a, you know, the temperature not as much as the length of time. You don't want it to freeze, but it takes, you know, I think it's something like five degrees Fahrenheit for it to freeze. So it has to be pretty cold for it to freeze. And more that you're concerned with, you just don't want to be storing it because you're spending money on this chlorine but it's, you're not gonna get any value out of it. You don't bulk buy that product. What you want to aim for, if you use liquid chlorine for your swimming pool, is you want to run out right at the end of the season, right as you're closing your swimming pool. You wanna have your pool all nice and clean and all the debris removed and all the, the chemicals are balanced. And then usually you wanna give, give it a big slug of chlorine, you know, something in the range of five liters or 10 liters of chlorine such that you're going to have a high level over the winter season. Usually I'll do that right before I draw the, the cover right over the pool. And that will usually go a long way to making sure that the water hasn't turned green over the winter season. So I aim to not store any liquid chlorine. So I don't personally have to deal with that. Well, where do you store it? You store it outside unless it's going to be really cold and then it can't be outside because really it's going to be freezing. So again, you're just not going to get the value out of it. Aim to just not store it at all. Uh, with the rest of your products, let's say you use chlorine tablets of some type, any kind of solid physical product like that can be stored outside in a storage shed. And if it gets to sub-zero, that won't be a problem for it. And you're going to be doing storing your acids outside as well. But what you have to be aware of is that you cannot store chlorine and acid together. They must be stored in such a way that in a worst case scenario that these bottles both failed and both the acid and the chlorine spilled out. They cannot physically contact each other. They shouldn't even come in direct contact in terms of the gases that will be coming off of each of the spilled products. It's very important that acids and chlorines are stored separately from each other, but they can both be stored outside for the winter season. So aside from the liquid trying to use it up uh, and the solids that you're going to store outside, the final question is, well, what about all the random products? You know, I got like a bottle of algicide, I've got some other random thing, maybe some anti-foam product or a liquid solar cover. What do I do with all of these things? All of those random ones, I would bring inside and store them in a garage or a basement, something like that. I wouldn't bring the acids inside, I wouldn't bring the chlorine inside, but I would bring all the random ones inside because they might, the bottles might break when they freeze or you just might lose the effectiveness of the product itself. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.